Okay, hi everyone. Uh, it's Matt from Intertalk here, and we're back to give some more demonstrations of our radio and telephone command and control console interacting with some emergency phones using voice over IP. So last time we showed incoming calls from the emergency phones landing at the console system and being answered by the dispatcher. Today we're going to show outgoing calls from the console system going out to each one of the six phones that we have here and then showing a bit of interaction of how um, those emergency phones could be patched through to another telephone caller to create uh, some really interesting interoperability scenarios. Uh, so on the desk here we've got uh, six different emergency phones by six or three different manufacturers. We've got two Tocophone boxes, we have two Gaiatronics boxes, and we have two MCOM boxes. Over here on the console screen uh, I've set up six uh, speed dial buttons uh, for each of the six phones and color coded them according to the manufacturer. So the first one we have up here is the Tocophone VoIP 500E number one and then we have the Tocophone VoIP 500E phone number two there. We have the two Gaiatronics ones there and the two MCOM models as well. So um, sending an outbound telephone call is really easy. You can just click on the button for the particular phone you want to call and boom! The call just appears right up there in your dialer window so you know that the call is, uh, is proceeding and uh, once it's answered, you can see on your VU meter, you have audio going in both directions. Um, I'm speaking loud enough right now that my audio is being picked up by the microphone that we have plugged into our console, as well as by the microphone on the emergency phone. But that's how you can uh, place a call to the phone. So it's this first talk phone one that we have here on the desk. Um, we, can, uh, we can actually place that call on hold and then place a call out to the other Tocophone box by just clicking again the button on the screen. So um, that starts ringing in over at this box here. Um, uh, similarly, both, uh, got a bit, of a bit of a feedback loop. We have our microphones and speakers kind of close together here in the lab, so it's creating a bit of a feedback loop. But um, these emergency phones are set up to auto answer, so when the dispatch console sends a call, out to one of those phones, the phone automatically picks up and uh, the bi-directional audio is established so the dispatcher can start speaking out to the phone, anyone who's near the phone, if they're speaking, it'll be heard by the dispatcher. So that auto answer function can be you know, particularly useful, um, especially if you just want to hear if there's any ambient sound or noise in the area of the phone. Um, so next on our hit list here we've got the two Gaiatronics models. Um, similar behavior, they also um, well, one of them auto answers, um, so we'll call that one first. Or actually, we called the uh, we called this one first. Um, it has a little bit of a chirp, which is its uh, ringtone there that you can hear. It's kind of a quiet chirp. Um, but uh, yeah, so you just answer it by picking it up um, after the call is answered, um, or after you pick up just by picking this up off hook. The call is automatically answered yeah. and uh, audio is set up. You can see on the console screen there the VU meter bouncing around when I speak into the microphone on the phone and vice versa. If I move close to the console you can see the audio coming back the other way. Um, so that one's pretty easy. Um, that one's kind of nice. It, since this one doesn't have a built-in speaker, um, that's why you have to actually take it off when you're answering it. Um, this model here, on the other hand, uh, does have the integrated speaker, and since it doesn't have a handset, it auto answers when you call it. So um, we'll call Gaiatronics 2. So basically, that call, uh, once that's set up, we um, have audio basically from the console, and we've got that and uh, vice versa. Again, we've got our microphones kind of close together here in the lab, so it creates a bit of a feedback loop. Um, but that's that's the audio going back and forth between um, the speaker on the phone and the speaker, the microphone on the console position. Um, but that's how you, how you can call out there. You can set these up as um, speed dial buttons. You can configure those in any which way. You can configure the text on and the color and the placement on the screen. Um, you can also manually dial out the phones if you know the phone number associated with them. Um, next, we'll call uh, the MCOM phones. So we have. Again, this model here does not have a handset, so it auto answers. So we call MCOM1. It's very interesting that the, uh, the ringtone uh, for that for a number of these phones by default sounds like ring back. Um, but they auto answer, so the call comes in, um, it picks it up automatically, and audio is established between the console system and the phone. Um, and uh, it's just as easy as that. 
Um, and then to set up a call to MCOM phone number two, I just click that button. You can see here, there's no audible enunciation, but you can see on the screen it indicates call from, and then it gives the IP address of where the call is coming from. Um, so to answer that, you simply take the phone off hook. Once the phone is taken off hook like this, um, audio is uh, established between the phone and the console system. Again, if I just tap on the microphone of the phone, you can see the VU meter bouncing around over at the console. So, uh, one last scenario that we'll, uh, we'll look at here is, um, what if you had a call on one of these phones, and then you also needed to get a hold of an external agency such as 911? Well, that's very easy. You can do that from the console. You can see here, I actually still have the two calls from the Guyatronics phones and the two calls from the MCOM phones up. I have them placed on hold. I'll now call 911. Don't worry, this is just a simulation. This is not actually calling 911. Um, we have a, a, a dial route set up in our, our PBX so that we get a voice coming back um, when we call 911. Now, if you need 911 to be able to communicate with the person on the other end of the phone, that is very, very easy to do. You can simply uh, create a patch, and then you can add 911 to that patch, and then you could add your Guyatronics phone to the patch. And then basically it's, it's just as easy as that. Once they're in the patch, there is complete interoperable communication between the two. And, um, oh, hang on, my 911 call hung up. So this is a, this is a good one. We'll actually, um, Call 911 again. My 911 call was set up as sort of a, just a short little um, voice recording and then it hangs up. So we call 911 again. Uh, we get set up, add 911 into the patch, and now we can hear them over here. They're patched through and coming out the Guytronics phone. Um, similarly, um, your dispatcher is still also included in that conversation. So if you want to um, communicate on the patch, you can see that I'm over here at the console, and I'm communicating, and it's also coming up the phone there. So you can have a, a multi-party uh, conference between your dispatcher, 911, and one of your emergency phones. Um, you can also, um, with patching, you can do that uh, in sort of an arbitrary manner, of patching resources to resources. So we can actually take one of our Guyatronics phones and patch it across to one of our MCOM phones. And it's just as easy as putting the patch into setup mode, and then picking the phone you'd like to add to the patch. So we'll add MCOM2. Now they are both patched together. So if I basically pick up the, you can see them in the patch window on the screen here. So if I just pick up the microphone on the MCOM phone and do a, a test count, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. my audio is going into the uh, MCOM phone here and it's getting repeated back out the Guyatronics phone over here. Um, so you can set up multiple independent patches if that's something you need to do. You can set up um, telephone to telephone patch, um, dispatcher to multiple telephones, um, and you can mix in radios there if you want to as well. It's uh, completely flexible how you need to patch uh, resources together. Um, and you can have multiple telephone calls um, coming in, going out, um, at multiple console positions. Um, complete flexibility and configurability with, uh, with all of your telephone call and radio behavior. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.